What's up, beer tubers? Eric today joining you back for another beer review. Today I'm going to be looking at another Russian River beer that um, Casey so ever graciously picked up for me and brought me back from, I want to say, Sonoma County. Santa Rosa, I was right. So this is the one, the only, the Pliny the Elder. It is the epitome of a double West Coast double IPA. It's the younger brother of Pliny the Younger, which is a taproom only release. This one comes in 500 milliliter bottles. Um, one thing I love about Russian River is they generally batch or date their bottles. This one comes in, it was bottled 513 of 13. So just under two weeks old. I would have liked to drink it a little fresher, but you know what? It's been kept cold since uh, Casey picked it up, and wow, what a jackpot, only five bucks. So without anything else to say, I'm going to get this one into a glass. Nice Rush River stemware here that I can't decide if I like or not, but here's the pour on the Pliny the Elder. Yeah. I'm not sure... There's a better looking double IPA on the market. Look at that nice, nice carbonation. Finger and a half, uh, nice tight lacing. Just an overall gorgeous, gorgeous looking double IPA. Let's get the smell in the plenty. Oh, man, there's just that, that huge, huge wave of pine, Simcoe-like bitterness. Oh, a lot of a lot of astringent hop character, dank, very very dank is a a good word for it. Yeah, I've had plenty before, but it has been a couple of years, and I um, was one of those people who fell victim to buying some beer off eBay back in probably 2010 when you still could. And I remember I think I got five bottles of Pliny shipped to me with shipping included for roughly 50 bucks. It was a lot and I don't remember loving it. So I'm really hoping after having all these different double IPAs and IPAs that this is something that um, will uh, sit uh, well with me. Yeah, so, uh, you know, this, this beer smells really bitter. Um, the hops they use in it are Amarillo, Simcoe, Centennial, and um, Columbus Tomahawk Zeus, or CTZ. And you can really, really pick up on the um, uh, Centennial, or not the Centennial, the CTZ and the Simcoe in this one. So really, really dominating bitter aspect of it. I'm going to go ahead and get in a taste of this pup here. I'm just salivating at the sight of this thing. So, thanks for joining me, guys. Cheers. It's really good. It's really balanced. Yeah, initial thoughts. Just... Massive waves and pine and bitterness mixed with tropical fruit. Um, definitely, definitely this clean, clean bitterness. It's nothing too harsh. It it, it it melds well with the other flavors of the Amarillo and the Centennial. and It's got a, a really, you know, medium to light body. It's easy to drink. Yeah, I'm not sure there's a better crafted example that is uh, as affordable and just overall as balanced as something like this. This is a pretty special treat. You know, I, I kind of wish that I was able to get Pliny more often without having to trade for it. Although I really don't mind trading for it. Yeah, does it... You know, the age-old debate with me as a beer reviewer and as a beer drinker and somebody who loves it all is, you know, when I see things like Hetty Topper, number one, 
Planet of the Younger for the longest time, number two and three, and Elder in the top ten as well. Um, for overall ratings on Beer Advocate, I I don't know. I think it's ill-conceived, and there's just so much more to beer than uh, brewing something extremely hoppy. And this this is balanced, and this is beautiful. And for me, it's one of the best examples of the style, the West Coast IPA. And it keeps you coming back for another sip and another nose. And it's, to me, I actually, I don't necessarily like it better than Hetty Topper. But it's right up there with Hetty Topper and Abrasive for me. They're, I, don't, I don't know if I could declare a clear-cut winner. Uh, they all have characteristics about each of them that differently I love about each one. You know, Hetty's juicy. This is balanced and amazing, and abrasive is just a whole other animal. But thanks again, Casey, for getting this one for me. I'm really glad I could bring this to you guys as fresh as I did, and hopefully, I can get my hands on some more Russian River beers. These guys do some fantastic IPAs, and their sours are world class as well, in my opinion. Uh, always remember to respect beer, guys. Cheers. I'll see you again for another beer review. Thanks. Mm. I didn't give this one a rating. Blooper. Damn. Uh, I'm going 95 out of 100. It's A plus for me. It's not the best double IPA I've ever had, but it... Uh, it's right up there, and I don't think I'll ever have a chance to review the best double IPA I've ever had uh, on this channel. Um, maybe I already have. It's all up for debate.